So hello there, this is part two of our oatmeal uh, tutorial. So let's start working on the raisins, uh, raisins and uh, let's uh, add, how can we do this? Let's begin with a cube, bring it here. I'll scale it in the X and uh, X and Z, X and Y. Z and Y plane. I can see. We need to give them. Let's apply the rotation and scale. Uh, then give them a subdivision surface. We need to add loops. More loops here. Then also here. Now, we also, because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at some images here, maybe let me drop them uh, in the reference image here. So let me first get to copy them. So these are the, this is the reference image I'm looking at here. Oh, how are we going to do this? Let's add, hmm, uh -huh. Would this work? Because I'm thinking if we add a displacement displacement modifier, we can use a texture. But what kind of texture? Image. Hmm. I see. Uh, if we have, let me open and uh, let me find an image here. If we have cloth wrinkles i think i have an image like that i'm not sure where it is let me find something on google here because you can see the texture kind of looks like wrinkled uh clothes so uh, so let me find that cloth wrinkles Now we can use that to to displace this here, and now we can also use that in the in the texturing. So let me find some good ones. So this is what I have here. And you see, it kind of looks the same here, uh, but I think this shape won't do. So let's uh, find, let's add a UV sphere, rotate it in the X direction 90 degrees so that uh, this here is facing this direction. And now we can scale it in that axis like that. Now we can add, instead of the sub subdivision surface, we can just use, now let's just use that. And uh, let's add now a texture, displacement. <coughs> Image, this. Now we just need more resolution for this, so. I don't even know how this is being projected here. I think, is it using UVs or mapping? So if we go back to this and uh, increase the view, the resolution here, uh, we can also come back to the, uh, we need to reduce the strength, point 0.1. smooth shading. You can see the details are coming in but uh, they're not looking that great. We 
just need to if we subdivide this is this even further and see uh, i think we need a different projection uh projection projection monthly let's first apply the rotation and scale uh let's first turn off all these and uh, create our own uvs maxim we need to do this for this side as well but for e maxim now just need hmm, just need to unwrap hmm. i think these are good uvs so let's see let's see let's see let's see let's change to multi-resolution make sure this is up turn back the displacement let's go back to layout so that we can see these uh, we need to subdivide subdivide once let's subdivide twice three times four times you can see how the details are coming in i don't know if we sh because it seems like uh, there is a seam here but i don't know if we should leave it or remove it let me try and see what projection this is using should go to here in mapping let's try two and two or let's try 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 all right can oh this is repeat so it only has to go to one can also control the contrast uh, this will make the details more pronounced uh, we can also just remove uh, the saturation <coughs> and uh, maybe we don't need this much contrast we can just let it be You know, I think this is good. This is good. And uh, what we can do, we need to bake uh, these into normals, so so that we don't have this. Or we can, I uh, use the decimate modifier to maintain to create to get these details uh, without having a, a really dense mesh, mesh like we have here, because we need a lot of risings. So let's go back to. I mean, isolation mode. No, I'm not. Let's just select this, apply the multi resolution, and apply the displacement. You can see how dense uh, this mesh is. And uh, we need to create variations uh, because you can see this is a healthy rising. It doesn't have, it's not too dr as dry as uh, the risings we want. So let's first go back to the reference image. No, we can just keep it there. Keep to, keep to this. Uh, I would make a duplicate of this and uh, put it here. Then use <coughs> uh, add, 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 add. Decimate modifier is what I'm looking for. Decimate. Decimate. So then we can uh, reduce on. You see. You can also look at, I think down here, you can see the amount of vertices that uh, we have removed. Uh, as we collapse. Is it working? Yeah, I think it's working. You just don't see that much difference. See, 
if we apply now this is what we have so it's basically not as dense as uh, this one here and I think we can still remove more and now if we apply a subdivision surface slow I haven't saved yet so if it crashes if it crashes here I'm kind of done <coughs> I think uh, the mesh is still dense for a subdivision surface so um, yeah um, that's how it looks with a subdivision surface uh, let me first save and then remove this because I think this is good enough even without the subdivision surface it can still work so we can delete this we don't need that anymore and uh, now we can make a copy of this then select a path around here because we, we need to make some variations here turn on proportional editing and push this in a bit select somewhere else and so we have that copy you can get another one that is a bit squished and uh, we can change the fall off to random Maybe that's too much. Let's try something like this. Let's mm -hmm. select a path again. See this, this one here. Yeah, so we have three different versions. Uh, so we can come back to our reference image and start distributing. You can see they're around 10 or 6, uh, but uh, I think like 12 because these are also risings, uh, but uh, different colors. So let's scale this to the size. Bring this up. So we, let's make about three of these. Alt D, and this, and then we can rotate them in any direction. Then let's get this. Alt D. Alt D. Now we can rotate. Randomize the rotation a bit. Get this. D. We can make a few more for this. Now we can start randomizing the rotation. So in the next lesson, we'll be looking at uh, the material setup 
and uh, yeah that's as far this is what we have maybe we can add a plane for the ground where is this Yeah, in the next episode, we'll look at uh, the materials.